crank it up. Welcome to the Ultimate Miami Bartender. We're coming to you from inside stage 305 at Magic City Casino, and we're about to booze it up with some of Miami's finest. Tonight, eight of Miami's top mixologists will shake, muddle, and pour for the chance to win the $5,000 grand prize and the title of Ultimate Miami Bartender. The contestants are all set up at their individual stations and are prepping their cocktails for round one of tonight's competition. Here's how the competition works. In round one, the audience will get to walk around and sample all eight of the contestants' signature drinks. Once they've tasted all eight cocktails, they get to vote for their favorite by inserting this chip into a box that belongs to the bartender whose drink they enjoyed the most. The top two bartenders with the most chips get to advance to the final round, which is a flavor and speed challenge. Each contestant will be provided with a fully stocked bar and will have to mix up their best cocktail for three judges in front of a live audience in just four minutes. The judges will taste and compare the two concoctions, and then they will have the final task of selecting the mixologist who best earns the title Ultimate Miami Bartender. Now let's go to my co-host Martha, who is tasting her way around the room. As you can see, the room is filling up fast at Ultimate Miami Bartender. I'm about to try my first signature cocktail of the evening, but before I do that, let's get to know contestant number one. My favorite part about bartending in general is the social interaction. I'm a very uh, outgoing person. I really love the uniqueness of my job every single day is a different experience and I really get to meet a lot of people and have fun while I'm working on a daily basis. My bartending skills will help separate me from my competitors uh, because I'm a very passionate bartender. It's not just a job for me. When I come to work every day, I'm excited to be there. I enjoy what I do. You can't teach passion. It's something that has to come naturally. So I think that gives me a big advantage in this competition. I know two of the bartenders from the competition. I know Hilary Chu and also know Seth from Skirt Steak. And we actually competed in a competition yesterday, which I won. All right, we are here with Seth at Ultimate Miami Bartender Competition at Stage 305. Seth, how are you this evening? I'm very well, thank you for asking. So what did you make for our um, audience this evening? For our audience, we made a uh, really amazing cocktail. It's, uh, we used some Tangerine Number no. 10 gin, which is distilled with uh, fresh Florida oranges. And then we top it with some agave syrup, a little fresh grapefruit juice, a little fresh lime juice, and then a little Vuclico champagne, because champagne makes everything better. What was your inspiration behind your signature cocktail? I wanted to create a cocktail that would really highlight the, the feeling of the city of Miami and Miami Beach and going out and having fun on the weekends and having something really refreshing. Cheers to you. Mm. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. It's very refreshing. Awesome, I'm glad you're here. Wow, his drink was absolutely incredible, very refreshing. Thank you exactly. so much, Seth. My pleasure, thank you. <laughs> I run a craft cocktail program of 25 different drinks. Uh, we do about 14 different homemade infusions, eight homemade syrups. Uh, we also work with a little bit of molecular as well with foams and caviars to help complement the aesthetic look in our cocktails. I feel a little more comfortable uh, in this competition in a sense because I've uh, not only personally have done many events where I've had to cater to three or four hundred people before, um, I've also have been able to work with many different types of flavor profiles. Uh, my strategy going into this competition is to create a cocktail that I know that would please the masses, something that's going to be a little, a little fruitier and a touch spicy because uh, being in Miami, spice tends to work very well in the city. I always desire to learn how to make proper cocktails with the right techniques and knowing all the basics as well as try to explore new flavors and new flavor profiles. Philip in the bartending community world, and he's known. I honestly was shocked when he walked in to the door because he was the last person to walk in and I was like, oh great. This is going to be a real great competition. We're here with Philip from the Satai Hotel. Hi, Philip. How are you doing this evening? Very good. How are you doing? I'm very well. Well, um, tell us a little bit about your drink. Well, the drink that I created is called the Flower Machu Picchu. Uh, basically, I'm using a Peruvian pepper uh, called the Aji Panca, which has a nice like medium spice and a fruitiness to the, uh, the pepper itself. Uh, mixing with a little bit of yuzu, white whiskey, and a little bit of hibiscus liqueur. The combination together brings this beautiful citrus cocktail with a nice little heat on the end. 
and we're topping it off with hibiscus flowers just so it can get a nice aromatic on the nose. Well, I hear you are quite the mixologist. How did you get so much experience? Uh, years of drinking. I mean, that's something that you shouldn't be admitting to the camera. And when I mean years of drinking, it was years of being opportunity to be in places to try different spirits, to try different uh, styles of cocktails, to learn uh, different methods of how drinks are supposed to be made. I've just been lucky to be on a path where I have a lot of great teachers come along my way. All right. Cheers to you. Cheers. It is very floral. Uh -huh. Oh my God, it's so good. Thank you so much, Philip. My name is Nicole Guzman, I'm 30 years old. I've been bartending for over 10 years. Where I started bartending was at a go-go club. I was 18 years old, I wasn't allowed to drink. Out of high school, I uh, was asked by my parents what I wanted to do, and they, I told them bartending. My bartending skills separate myself because I'm more of a creative cocktail mixologist rather than just making your, sign your, your regular drinks. I always try to come up with new drinks. I really like for my drinks to shine. I think I'm a good bartender because you need personality as well as good drinks. You know, just a good drink is not gonna cut it. You, you really need to shine. We're here at Ultimate Miami Bartender, and oh my goodness, there looks like we got the birthday girl right here. Hi, Nicole. Hi, how are you? I'm great, how about you? Good, good. Okay, so what did you make for the audience this evening? Today I made Maker's Mark 46, topped off with apple cider. In there I have muddled lemon, thyme, and ginger. Okay, so what was your inspiration behind your cocktail? Um, I'm a mixologist, so I really always put different things together. I've always been a bourbon type of girl, so I wanted to create my drink with bourbon. And what's new in right now are the new beer cocktails that we got going on. So I wanted to try an apple cider, you know, try to make it, you know, a little different. Now you have to let me try your drink. Oh, definitely. Here you go. All right. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Cheers to you. Cheers. I really taste that ginger in there. Yeah, just went down real smooth. All right, guys. Good luck to you. We'll be back with more from Ultimate Miami Bartender after this short break. You're watching Ultimate Miami Bartender at Magic City Casino. Uh, I started bartending about seven, eight years ago when uh, I was managing actually a restaurant and one of my bartenders passed out behind the bar and I jumped in behind the bar and just tried to figure it out. And after that, it's like another hobby. <laughs> Okay, uh, what I like about this industry is that every day is a different day. It's always evolving, it's always changing. And uh, when you think you know it all, the next day it comes to a different situation, a different guest that it will surprise you. I think what makes me the ultimate Miami bartender is that I represent what is Miami about. All the different melting pot of different cultures, especially with a lot of Latin flares. My secret ingredients in my drink is going to be a little spicy. And uh, well, you'll, you'll have to taste it. I think for Santiago's first competition, it'll be a good experience for him. I feel Santiago, um, it's his first year, just like my first year, you know? Um, he looks very nervous and he's asking many questions about what's going on. I believe uh, Santiago has the same chances, like myself as my first time too. Uh, but I don't know what he bring to the table. What was your inspiration for your drink? Well, we created this drink for the Cinco de Mayo as a specialty drink in the Trumpet International Beach Resort. And we are always creating some, something new, something different according to the season. It has a little mezcal, a little granulated honey with pekin on the rim. But I also made it because a lot of people are afraid of mezcal and, uh, you, you know, uh, some, some, something different. We are playing with the watermelon because right now the watermelon is in season and, you know, spicy. It's Miami. Well, cheers to you and Enjoy. cheers to me. It burns as it goes down, but it is so good. Thank you, thank thank you. you so much. I am starting bartender like 15 years ago. Everybody started looking for another job on the time of the university or the college and like uh, have some money for this. And well, I stay on this. This is my passion right now. Normally, uh, I work here in school. I teach, I'm an instructor here. You learn a lot from your students, so it makes a part of my passion. I love the bar, 
and when you teach you need to start uh, to keep always uh, learning more and trying to, to have more knowledge to share that with your students. The people say uh, you don't choose to be a bartender, uh, the bar chooses you. I love that Santiago works at a bartending school. Um, education is very important in our business, but I think it might put him at a disadvantage. He might have an advantage to probably trade it just because he's in a bartending school? No, not really. That's his regular drinks. That's his regular like drinks. Your regular Long Island, you know, he teaches you. Your, your Manhattan, yeah. your, your what, grasshopper. So what did you make this evening? Well, we made a candle. Candle is a drink made with Finlandia lime, uh, Bombay sapphire, and also mango, basil, salt, lime, sugar. It's a lot of ingredients. It's really nice. It's spicy, refreshing. Because also have a tonic water. I model all the night to have the batch for 450. So it's fresh fruit in everything. Limes are fresh. Everything is fresh. I, I love to use all fresh. Very fresh and very delicious. Thank you so much and good luck to you this evening. I got into bartending seriously when I was working at the Fountain Blue Hotel. Right now I'm working full time as a Bacardi Portfolio Ambassador in Miami. I absolutely love bartending. Um, I think one of my favorite parts is kind of being on your feet and being able to engage with customers and meet new people from all over. But also the creativity aspect is what made me truly fall in love with it. I've always wanted to work in a kitchen. Being able to build a cocktail and work with different flavors and kind of tailor it towards the guest's need was always really fun for me. I think I'm the ultimate Miami bartender because I think I have the total package. My cocktail is going to be great. I'm just going to bring it with energy. I'm going to engage the customers. Um, we're going to bring it home, and then when I make it to the stage, my cocktail is just going to kill it. I've known Hillary for quite a long time. She's uh, very talented, and the reason why she's been successful in this uh, industry is because she's a great person at what she does. I mean, it's not that I'm intimidated by her. I just respect her. Hillary, um, she's just a pretty girl behind a bar. That's how I see it. Yeah, she seems very quiet, very at ease, but sometimes those are the ones you gotta worry about the most, you know? Um, I feel like there's only two women this year in this competition, so you never know. Maybe one of us could take it. There hasn't been a girl to win yet the competition. So and, they me. and there's yet to be a girl to be in the top two either. So that's, that'll be interesting to see. How do you think being a Bacardi ambassador is going to give you a little bit of an edge in terms of this competition? Well, I bartended full time for six years and now um, I'm working for Bacardi and I work as a mixologist and as an ambassador and I help inspire other bartenders to hopefully elevate their craft and do the best job they can. And I think that with my experience, um, not only behind the bar, but now in front of the bar, um, I'm hoping that that can give me an edge. What exactly did you make this evening? So today, again, my inspiration was summer. It's so hot out. I wanted to make something that people um, not only could enjoy on a Friday night, but would refresh them. So I took Grey Goose Vodka. I added St. Germain, which is an elderflower liqueur. I mixed it with fresh cucumber, fresh lime, topped it with ginger beer. All right, cheers. Ooh, that's a kicker. It's really good. We'll be back with more from Ultimate Miami Bartender after this short break. You're watching Ultimate Miami Bartender at Magic City Casino. I am bartender for 27 years. It's my full-time job, and this is what I do to live. My favorite part to be bartender is like take care of the people, make the people happy. It's not about only the make drinks. It's about everything. I think everybody can make drinks with the recipe that is no secret the secret is how do you make it how do you balance the ingredients how do you treat the customer how do you like uh, share the friendship with your customer you can get the drink in every single corner but how about the experience what you get with me is the experience it's like a ride this is what I do to live that's my passion and I love what I do well I'm bringing Mango's girls to dance for him uh, will distract from his drink. Um, I mean, it might distract from me making drinks too. We're here with Juan from Mango's. So why did you put the setup? It looks like a club. I see that you brought dancers. You brought like Mango's to, to Sage 305. The people looking for this. So I provide that. You provide the entertainment as well as a savory drink. 
Exactly. Mojito is a very classic Miami drink. Do you think that's going to give you the competitive edge to win the ultimate Miami bartender competition? Uh, I think it, mojito is an easy, easy recipe, but that, that is what, why I decided to make that one, because that's represent to us, you know? Miami around the world is mojitos. Okay, so what did you include in your recipe? Uh, it's a fresh squeezed lime, sugar, ermine, and I use a fresh pure melon, Medori liquor, and Bali vodka. And it's a low carb vodka. Well, since your mojitos are so famous, can I try one? Of course. Here's to Mr. 305. Is that a little sour that I taste at the end? No, it's a Midori. Midori. Mm. My return to Alton Miami bartender has been a crazy wild ride, but um, I wanted to go and do it this year. Really, I'm just going for it all the way. Get in it and get ready, because you're going to see something incredible from me. My experience in the past seasons were beyond amazing. I got to meet some excellent bartenders in the industry in Miami. My cocktail is beyond amazing, something unique, something different that not a lot of people have got to go and experience here in Miami. What else makes me the ultimate Miami bartender? I am here. I think I am one of the best bartenders here, and I think I deserve to win it, finally. It doesn't make me nervous that it's Roger's fourth competition uh, in a row because, let's face it, he hasn't won yet. If Roger's been here three times, that means he's lost three times. Feels like he, he's, this is his place and that's it, maybe his weakness. We're here with Mr. Roger Moreno, a.k.a. Mr. Hello Kitty Lords. You got it. Mr. Hello Kitty Lords here at Ultimate Miami Bartender for the fourth time. Exactly, the fourth time. How does it feel to be competing for four years in a row? I feel ecstatic competing for the fourth year in a row, but I just want to win it already. It's done. It's like high school. You know, four years, this is my senior year. I need to win it. I need to graduate. So what exactly did you use to make the ultimate Miami drink that will help you win that $5,000? This year, my inspiration was to do something, in other words, apocalyptic in a drink. I wanted to do something that no one has ever got to try, was to grill the fruit. A summer crazy cocktail with grilled muddled peaches, grilled muddled pineapple, grilled lemon juice to balance out the drink. And I used a very, very new Absolute Vodka that came out known as Absolute Elix. It is literally a single estate vodka that is beyond amazing. And today we're celebrating love with everything with liquor. So champagne love all around the room. Love is everything. All right, well, cheers. cheers. I taste that champagne. I taste all that love, Roger. It is all love, baby. That's all I'm giving. Well, thank you so much, Roger. Thank you, love. The results from the first round are all up to the audience. We're about to find out which bartenders they thought were worthy of advancing to the final round, right after the break. You're watching Ultimate Miami Bartender at Magic City Casino. The results from the first round are all up to the audience. We're about to find out which bartenders they thought were worthy of advancing to the final round. Here's Martha with the results. We are about to reveal our bartender finalists. Let's get the live feed of the bartenders backstage. In no particular order, the first contestant to advance for the chance to battle it out is... Juan Sosa! The second contestant to advance who is still in the running to win the title of the ultimate Miami bartender and the $5,000 grand prize is... Hillary Chu! So we now know that Juan Sosa from Mangoes and the Buck Hardy Portfolio Ambassador Hillary Chu are moving on to round two. In this round, the two bartenders will whip up a cocktail for three judges in just four minutes. But there's another catch. 
They were just told that they must incorporate bananas into their drinks tonight. That will definitely play a factor into what they decide to make for our judges. So while they get comfortable at their bars, let me introduce you to our ultimate Miami bartender judges. Crank it up. Those are our judges for this evening. Now let's get back to Martha and the finalists on stage. Contestants, your time starts right now. For me, it's no surprise. I'm behind every single bar, so that's gonna be another of my bars. That's my house, easy way, something tasty, tropical. That's it. I think I'm just gonna go up there and try and work with the flavors that they have for us and just try and keep it as balanced as possible and just create a winning cocktail. Let's start counting it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, guys. Let's get those cocktails over to our judges so they can try them out. All right, Juan, what did you make this evening for our judges, and how did you incorporate the secret ingredient, which was banana? Uh I call banana sunrise. <laughs> banana sunrise, but what did you put inside of your drink? It was a uh, Grey Goose vodka, triple sec, sweet and sour, peach, uh, cranberry juice, and a top with the uh, Sprash. A spray or whatever. Ceramis. Le lemon. I, I mother the banana to get the flavor, and I chill it to get the flavor. All right, Hillary. How did you incorporate the banana into the drinks you made for our judges this evening? So banana is an interesting flavor. It has, um, it has a really great fresh flavor, but it's a little mild. Um, I think banana pear is amazing with rum, um, especially for something like a banana daiquiri. So for summer, I decided to do something really long and refreshing. So I combined Bacardi rum with fresh lime juice. I muddled the banana just to get a little bit of that banana flavor. And then I topped off with Sprite. Adds that effervescence and makes it really long. So I'm hoping it's really refreshing. It's hot out, blend together. Thank you, Hillary. Well, it is obvious our judges have a very tough decision to make, so let's give them a few moments to decide who is the ultimate Miami bartender and will walk away with the incredible grand prize of $5,000. It's in there. It, I think when you, like, when you, yeah, it, it's, see? Very subtle. This is it. The judges have made their decision. Judges, who is? the ultimate Miami bartender. And the winner for the evening cocktails is... Juan Sosa, yes! Juan Sosa, congratulations! You just won $5,000 and are the ultimate Miami bartender.
you think Juan did better than Hillary when mixing the cocktail for you? I thought that his had more layers of flavors. I felt that hers was monotone. It was nice. It was very refreshing. But I only tasted very subtle, which was nice, the banana, and there was a lot of lime in it. His had a lot of notes. You could taste a lot of different things. So I thought it was probably better executed and probably more interesting. It was not overly sweet, and yet it had a lot of different flavors. How did you feel about the final challenge and incorporating the banana into your signature cocktail? Well, the banana was all right. I mean, bananas are pretty mild in flavor. I don't feel like they're an offensive flavor. The only thing was I was going for a certain cocktail, and all of a sudden I realized um, that one of the ingredients I needed was missing, and it kind of threw me off. And I still think I made a very good drink. I think it was just maybe, um, it was maybe a little too simple. Juan, you just won $5,000. How do you feel? I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, I, I, I believe in God and God doing everything for me, for my kids, because we almost closed in the house and we need that money so much for my kids. So this is for Gabby and for Christopher. How did you feel about using the banana in your final drink? Did it throw you off at all? In the beginning, it surprised me. But I'm a big fan of the banana because like every morning, I make the breakfast, uh, uh, you know, with the, with the banana for my kids. So that's what I do every day. So I know what the banana tastes. So and I know how to combine with some more like a fresh drink. So there, I make a drink. I make my drink and I put the banana in there. That's was a combination was easy, no difficult. We have a winner. The audience and the judges agreed that Juan Sosa made the best cocktails of the evening. Now he can officially call himself the ultimate Miami bartender. Join us here at Magic City Casino Stage 305 for our next Ultimate Miami competition. And for more information, go to www.theultimatemiami.com.